गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेस आई एम अंजली फ्रॉम पास सो मेनी डेज वी वर फोकसिंग ऑन क्लास टेंथ आई सी एस सी सिलेबस एंड आई गॉट सो मेनी मैसेजेस फ्रॉम चिल्ड्रन टू मेक द वीडियो ऑन क्लास नाइन्थ सिलेबस एज वेल सो टूडे आई हैव टेकन द टॉपिक कंप्यूटिंग एंड एथिक्स दिस टॉपिक इज देयर ओनली इन क्लास नाइन्थ आई सी एस सी कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन this is not there in class 10 so let's start so what is ethics ethics is the study of what is right what is wrong in human behavior or we can say ethics is a set of moral principles that govern the behavior of an individual or a group in the field of computers or information technology the ethical issues which regulates the use of computers are known as computing ethics there are many issues which are there in your syllabus will be doing them one by one from this chapter in section a you get the question around 4 to 6 marks so mostly theory based one word answer or define the following like these the questions can come in exams there are many ethical values which we must follow when we are using computers few i have mentioned here and i will be explaining you one by one so let's start with the first one do not copy or use the software for which you have not paid unpaid software that means you are not the authorized person for using that software always buy the software install that software on your computer system and then only you must use that software the second one is do not move peripherals from one place to another this will apply when you are working in a cyber cafe or you are working in your school lab or in some office that your computer on which you are working does not belong to you so you should not move the peripherals what is peripheral the devices which we are connecting to the computer or which are already connected with the computer are known as peripherals don't shift the mouse from one place to another or don't move the speaker of the computer system from one place to another do not do that this is very unethical the next point is do not browse unwanted websites websites for which you are looking for only go and visit those website website browsing kills that time you will not know how much time is wasted when we open any website so many links are present and it will take you from one link to another to another like that so just concentrate for which purpose you are there only open that web website and check the information of that only okay the next is do not steal the information of others information may be the confidential data of somebody is there in the computer then you are using that computer afterwards do not try to check the information or steal the information which is already saved by someone else you are working on computer work for which you are there okay so this is also very unethical unethical means very ill mannered act okay the next point says always protect your confidential information like if you have your passwords or some bank details in your computer system and you don't want any one to check that information so you must protect them using password or by some other means by some apps so always the information the confidential information must be protected and here is the next point do not install or uninstall the softwares yourself in the computer lab many children they go to the lab after working they just uninstall they delete the softwares please don't do this this is not correct this is unethical okay so you are not supposed to install also anything yourself uninstall 
anything. If any problem comes, please bring that problem to the notice of your subject teacher or the lab instructor. You are there to work in the softwares of your syllabus. Please confine yourself to that only. Okay. Now we move on to intellectual property right. It means ownership of the ideas. Developing a software is not an easy task. It takes so much of mental work. The skills are required. The time is there. Sometimes the money is also involved. So the software developed by any individual or a company becomes the intellectual property of that person or company. So nobody has the right to make a copy of that without taking the permission of that person. Now in intellectual property right, we have three properties, software patent, software copyright and trademark. Software patent right is given to the programmer for the development of the software. And this law, that is patent law also restrict other users to make the copy of the software or to distribute that or to modify the software. So when we use patent, that means the programmer is having all the rights. Nobody else can use or modify that software. The next property of intellectual property right is software copyright. Copyright gives the permission to a company or individual to make the copies and distribute in public. Now let us take the example of this to understand it better. Say suppose you go to market to get the DVD of Harry Potter movie. The shopkeeper says that this is the original DVD. Fine, you purchase that, you come home and then you watch the movie. Now, is there original means only one? So, in the entire world, is that one DVD is the only DVD? No. That company which is making the copies has got the copyright by the laws to make the duplicate of the original. Those will be also considered as original and then they can sell them in the market. So, copyright means right to copy. Aapke paas right hota hai, aap uski copies or create kar sakte ho and you can sell them, you can issue those copies in the public, maybe for profit, maybe without profit, but you have the right to make the copies of the original. The next point is trademark. Trademark can be a phrase, a word or a symbol that denotes a product and legally differentiates it with other products of the same kind. Like if you go for woodland, the mark is there and it differentiates the woodland t-shirt or the shoes with other brand companies. So sometimes the trademark has even more important than what the product is. Sometimes the another product is better but you want to go for that branded product only because of its trademark. The next topic is data protection on internet. When we are connected to internet using phone or laptop or maybe the desktop system, then we are accessing the information from worldwide. Now in that case, it is very important to keep our data safe on the device. So how to make sure that your data remains safe? For that we have to take some precautions like first do not disclose your passwords to anyone, not even your friends. Today you are friends, maybe tomorrow if Something happens, you have a good fight with your friends, then your friends will tell the password to others and which may cause problems to you. 
and you will be only blamed because you were having the password in case of any mishandling of that account. So never ever give password to anyone. You are in habit of forgetting the password, note it down and keep at some safe place at home. Next, do not download unwanted softwares or the free softwares from wherever you are getting. When you are connected to internet, so many pop-ups come download this for free, download that for free. Please don't do that. This will take so much of space in your hard disk and then they can bring virus also to your system. So only download the software in which you have to work. You have some work for that particular software, only download those ones. Then we have do not open junk mail. Sometimes we get very attractive messages. Click here and win a car. Click here and get a flight ticket to Dubai. So do not open such type of junk mails. They can bring virus to computer system and they can steal the information of your system. So never ever open those. Just select and delete these mails. Then install a high quality antivirus software in your system. Always you should have a good quality antivirus software so that even after taking so many precautions, if somehow any virus attack is there, then your antivirus software should be able to detect and delete that virus. Okay. The next point is spam. Spams are the unwanted emails or messages. These mails are sent to the users in bulk. They are purposely sent to the user. They contain very attractive subject like win a car, click here and get 10 lakhs rupees. So these subject messages compel you to open that mail and when you open it will occupy the space of your computer plus it may bring virus to your computer system. So in case of spams, if, how you will know whether it is a spam? So in that case, if you are not familiar with the email ID, don't try to open that. Read the subject carefully. If you see that subject is not relevant, just select the mail and delete that. Do not open the spams. Now how to protect your system from spam? First of all, you should use a good antivirus software and the filters like you have spam attack and spam hater. These two filters are used and if you have these, they will not allow the spams to enter your computer system. And the best method is simple select and delete. No need to open the spam. For today, this much only. All these topics which we cover today are in the form of notes in PDF format. The link is given in the description box. Please download and check that. The second part of this you will get soon. Please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it till now. And press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all important videos. Keep practicing. Keep doing. God bless you.